Hi everyone, this is Derek the Nitwit. Thanks for dropping into my channel and thanks for all my wonderful subscribers who keep coming back. Today I'm going to try and keep it short because yesterday was, was a little bit long. Um, I did go to the dentist this morning and she said she'll be able to, there went a little miss, she'll be able to do, fix everything, not counting the bridges to replace the two missing teeth that I've had pulled. She'll be able to do everything with simple rest restorations instead of crowns. So I went in there thinking I needed four, maybe five crowns. And I actually am just going to get a handful of fillings. And I'm getting out of there for about the cost of what one crown was going to be. So that's very, that's very good news. That's my happy news for today. Um, as far as my work in progress, I'm working on the anatomical heart. I've got... Most of the heart done, I've got, it looks kind of like a ball sack to be honest, right now. I've got two rows left to do, but the instructions right now says you, you stuff this, and then you do the other two rows, and then you finish stuffing it. So that's done until I get home to Oklahoma. And I did the superior vena cava, did a little chunk of it, that I'll stuff it. And all I've got left to do on this pattern... I've got the inferior vena cava, the aorta, and the pulmonary artery, and the pulmonary veins. So, one, two, three, four more pieces to do, and then I stuff it and um, assemble it. And it even has the assembly instructions, including, like, which piece goes where, down to, like, which row it goes on. So, that's going to be nice. And then, of course, you know, stitching some veins on the end. And uh, so I will work on that for a little bit. And then I think that I may actually... Hey, just, just one moment here. Sorry about that. I may be, be in the process of getting my dental stuff straightened out, but my sister keeps having problems with her screw. <laughs> her screw comes... She's got a screw loose in her mouth. Um, she's got implants and she lost a, one of the implants came out and then so the other screws are just aren't staying put I told her she needs Gorilla Glue but so as far as the project I think I'm going to work I, I'm going to take a break from this um, where I may not I may knit one more piece and then work or crochet one more piece and then work on one of the knit projects I've, I got but so what I'm going to do now is I've got the last of the AMA questions excuse me so we've got Maria Griffin asked me, was I in the military? No, but I did try to. I actually enlisted in the delayed enlistment program with the Air Force. I made a 92 on my ASVAB. I will forever remember that. I was going to be a cryptologic linguist and sit on a hillside somewhere listening to radio trans transmissions and um, break the code and translate them. That's just military intelligence. What is my zodiac? Oh, and it's going to be, it's, remember I said, it's going to be the Air Force. What is my zodiac sign? I am a Sagittarius. I'm not sure how much I put into it because, you know, I've always been, you know, some parts match, some parts don't, and it's kind of that way with a lot of these signs and things. But then I also, I can just take quit random quizzes like BuzzFeed always is like, which type of grilled cheese would you be? You know, some of it fits, some of it doesn't. But... So, my poor mom, I, I wasn't supposed to have been a Sagittarius, but that's what she got stuck with. Where did I get my poo coffee cup? I got it at Walmart, and that's the second one I've owned, because I, I lost the first one when I lost everything I owned um, a couple years ago when I had to, um, right before I moved in with my sister. And um, with that, I just, because of the depression, I lost, I wasn't able to work, I lost my job, I went to a hospital, I got behind on my rent, and I got evicted, and so they packed up everything, well, I got evicted while I was in the hospital, but they packed up everything I owned, and they put it in storage for a while, but I couldn't, I mean, I couldn't afford to pay to get it out of storage, otherwise I would have paid my rent. Um, so I basically, I've started over, and it's not the first time I've started over, so that the you know, I just come out of knowing, it's like, if I have to, I can always start over. I just, it's not any fun, but it's possible. So, okay, and Melissa's World of, is that Zayas? And from, I googled it, so I wasn't sure what that was. And is it a Game of Thrones thing? I'm not sure, I never watched Game of Thrones. 
But she asks me, which original Doctor did I like? I never actually watched the original Doctor Who series. Ooh, looks like I'm in a um, campfire there. I never watched the original Doctor Who series. I only got involved with watching it, you know, with the, when it came back, when it rebooted with the Ninth Doctor. I tried watching a in one of the older Doctor Who movies at one point, but I couldn't get past the um, the special effects or the lack thereof. Um, but and I know that there's a cult following with it, and one of these days I may give it a try. But I'm I've never been much into historical things or period pieces, so you know I'm not. Um, you know, I'm just not sure about it. Okay. Are those the only two? They can't be the only questions. I guess that was the last... The last two questions. The last two people that had questions. If you guys have anything else you want to hear... Uh, or know about me, just go ahead and ask me. Anyway, you have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow. Okay, so I'm at Chid Rowie's, and this is the yarn. They've got their weather's embroidery thread, but this sixty-two percent cotton. Is that? I think that's cotton, and thirty percent rayon. Mosa, but it's soft. What? I'm talking. Ignore my finger now. And it's got sparkly threads go that kind of satin looking going through it. And this is 70 pesos. Divide by 20. So Almost four bucks ish. My math maybe is probably off. Okay, so. Le Mans, yeah. They call. Yeah, our word that we would use for lime or lemon. Lemon and lime, their words are odd or different what you'd expect. But that's pretty, and that's got that sparkly going through it too. They've got. Jade. I don't know what Hueso is. I'd have to open my Google Translate app and I can't do it in the phone at the same or the camera at the same time. Coral. More of the pink. Let's see what this is. Asuela. And these are, look at the size of that hook you'd be using, 3.5 US. Oh, Mercer, Mercer, Mercer that, whatever, Mer Mercerized cotton, Mercerized, I can't say that word. 295 yards, I may be coming back here for some of that cotton. Oh, as I knock off the socks behind me oh, here. Yeah. Oh, these are cute little socks. And my sister's standing here instead of trying to help me. Well, leave them there and I'll pick them up. Okay. So they've got like a gray color, purple, the ice blue, white, red, more gray, taupe, the red. There's the supplies they have. I don't know what a netting fork is. If someone knows what a netting fork, yeah, let me know what that is. Yeah, so that she said that's 366 for that yarn.
Look at that. Knitting needles. 14 inch. It's a US size 17. I may have to come back for that. More looms. And other sewing notions there. And then look at this. I guess well, I guess this is more for people that do like lace work. Because it calls for a two. That's gonna be like super fine. La Perla. More of that fancy cotton. A mercerized combed cotton. There we go. 50 grams. And then, oh, this stuff is, is soft and stuck. This is like that yarn I was using. Um, oh, baby yarn. Um, for David's hat and scarf. Made in Mexico. 50 grams, about 225 meters. It's acrylic. I know and I'm bouncing. So they've got the yellow. They've got kind oh, of a man. spring green. Is that rain? Yes. It's raining again. We brought the umbrella though. That's a cute color. Pinks and gray, pink and white and gray. Okay. This I think would barely count as yarn. I six miles today. Okay, if you can work with yarn at this small, look at that. And it's kind of sparkly. It doesn't say anything about needle. Oh, it's knitting yarn. It still says it's knitting yarn. Polyester thread. Or, well. I don't polyester, but they've got two colors green. Oh, here's another cool one. And I've got knitting needles. Yeah, please ignore my fingernails. I've been out running around. Fifteen ninety. What is? That's like a dollar. Forty gram. Yeah. What is that? Fine yarn. Actually. I want to get one of each of these co two colors, that multicolor. But they got the green, orange, yellow. Oh, and then up here we have these. That's 100% cotton. And it's. 170 meters or 185 yards size 4 they got oh sorry I'm making you stare at that okay we're talking about this so you got the teal the coral the purple the white this and, and for cotton this is all cotton this oh this one is super soft And it's still 100% cotton. These are so, all these right here like this are soft. These are more what you use for like washcloths and scrubbies, but these are nice. And then these are 30 pesos right here. And 70, 73% acrylic, 27% polyamide. Did you use a size 4 oh hook? Gosh. Yeah, we're getting into some embroidery stuff. Or lace work. But this... 
you know, it doesn't say that I've seen how much it is. But they have the, the gray. Well, no, I mean how the, the length. Oh. Just you know, basic colors there. And then over here we've got. Oh, this looks cool. Oreo, and it's soft, and it's got that thread running through, so it's going to have that curly Q look. It's a. 98% acrylic, 2% polyester. Sorry. <laughs> Here you can see the measurements that you would use. That one. And then there's this Royal. Just soft, not super soft. Not even as soft as that. It's funny that Audi comes in wrapped like that. Yep. Oops. This is 85% acrylic, 50% Lana, which I'm not sure what that is off the top of my head. So, you can see the sizes there. So, use a 10.5. That's going to be kind of a bulkier one. This is what I need on my, my, my probably table. But they've got that. They've got this nice little tweed, and these. Oh, pull one of these down. This is pretty soft, mistral. It is 100% acrylic and 50 grams. This is 25 pesos, so dollar and a quarter ish. But they've got these colors, so I know... Ooh, that, that one is pretty. That reminds me of Mardi Gras. Now, we'll be coming back. And then, for all y'all lace workers or embroiderers, look at that. That green and the pink's pretty. I'm not going to try. I'm doing good trying with this, this tiny stuff over here. That, this stuff... I'm not ready to try lace work yet. So anyway, so that is all the yarn that we see here. Um, so they've got, you know, some fabric. Obviously not as much fabric as we had at that fabric store earlier, but I'm kind of happy with what we found. So talk to you guys later.